Hi, it's Tyler from Unleashed. Today I'm going to show you the production section of the software, looking in detail at the ways that manufacturers use our system. Now, if this is the first time you've seen this in action, please do be aware it's also a full purchasing, inventory, and order management platform. But because we'll be focusing on manufacturing today, I won't be covering all those features in this video. Of course, if you'd like to see more of that functionality, you can hop into the other videos here. Otherwise, feel free to book some time in for a personalized demo or simply start a free trial of the software yourself. So with that said, let's get started by going into the production tab in my Unleashed account, where I can see the two main ways Unleashed manages those inventories for manufacturing, which is through bill of materials and assemblies. Now, bill of materials or BOMs are the recipes as it were, the detailed instructions of what goes into a manufactured product and assemblies in Unleashed are simply what we call the process of using those bombs uh, to create a certain number of products. Now here's a really good example of a bomb that we can take a look at. This is part of a pretend jam manufacturing business that I've got set up in my demo account. Jam making is a good example here because the processes we'll go through are the same that you'd use for lots of other types of manufacturing, whether you're assembling complex electronics, uh, brewing beer, or, or building furniture. And I'll even be able to show you some custom manufacturing workflows using some of that kit of products that my pretend business sells. So on this bomb, what do we see? It's for my original orange jam. And I can see on the left here, all the products needed to assemble a single unit. Now, obviously I have sugar and oranges, plus a jar, a label, and a lid. And this product up here, the base jelly, I can see is itself an assembled product with its own bill of materials. Now, if I go into that bomb, I can see it's a fairly simple product. But if I were making much more complex products with lots of different stages to the assembly, Unleash will let me build bombs within bombs, within bombs, and, and so on. The other thing I should point out is that in both of these bombs, I have a line here for labor costs. Now that's an example of unleashed with what we call a never diminishing product, which we can use for things like machine power, labor costs, and so on. And the reason for that being there is by accounting for those costs in our bill of materials that we're gonna have to, you know, make sure we've got much more accurate margins when we're making those products. In fact, if you look over here, you can see that there's an account associated with that line. So my Unleash account is integrated with Xero, which handles my accounting. So when I make some of that orange jam, Unleash will make a journal entry into Xero, letting it know how much my wage costs should be attributed to my cost of goods sold account. Now, everything else here is pretty self-explanatory. We have a quantity of each component that goes into each unit. Uh, for example, I record my sugar in kilograms and use 0.01 of a unit in each jar, or 10 grams. And this line shows me the weighted average cost of those units. Now, this is a dynamic figure, which changes as I buy my goods. If I were to buy lots of sugar for half that price, the cost would go down. Or if I was to buy a smaller amount at a cheaper price, it would go down, but less, because it's weighted according to the volume I buy. And actually, it's probably worth going into that product record to quickly show you how all that works. So if we take a look here, I'm in my product record for that sugar, and you can see how many kilograms of sugar I have in storage. And this is how much is already allocated as well. For example, production runs that are already planned. And this is how much I have available to use as well. But you can also see it's a component product, which means that I use it in my assemblies. If it was also something I made from raw ingredients, I'd have to tick assembled product as well. But I don't do that, I just, I just buy it in bags. Now, this tick here shows me that I always batch track my sugar, and I'll show you a bit more on that later. And actually, this is useful. Right down the bottom here, I've got multiple units of measure for my sugar. And you can see my base unit is in kilograms because that's how I use it in my business. But when I buy it, I actually order it in pallets so a ton at a time. So with that set up, I can have my purchasing working in pallets, but they're automatically converting to a unit that makes more sense to me when they're actually arriving. Now there's lots and lots in here. If we take a look at the inventory tab here, you can see that these are all the locations I've got my sugar stored. Now some locations are running low, and that's my contract manufacturer's warehouse there. 
and some locations are over their maximum stock levels. Now if we move along to the production tab, this tab shows me all the different bombs their products get used in. And if we switch over to costs, you can see over here that there's a record of every different price I've paid, how much I've bought and who from. All the purchase orders are linked over here as well. And all of that price information goes into my current cost, which pulls into that bomb we mentioned earlier. Now let's go back to that bill of materials right now. So there's lots going on in that really accurate unit cost over here, which shows me exactly how much it should cost me to make a jar jam. And that's gonna give me super accurate margins when it comes time to sell. So that's a quick overview of Bombs and Unleashed. Now let's use one of those bombs to make some of that jam we mentioned. Now I'm gonna go into assemblies, add an assembly and find the product I want. And here's all that information that's pulled through from that bill of materials we looked at earlier. Now, taking a step back real quick, uh, what is Unleashed going to do for us here? There's a couple of main things we want. Firstly, it's gonna tell us if we're short on any ingredients or parts and help us buy or make more of what we need to complete the assembly. It's also gonna change our stock records. It's gonna reduce all those ingredients um, that are gonna be used up and creating more of the new product, which is that jam. And we'll get all the documentation we need to move on to that next stage in Unleashed, whether that's pick packing and dispatching to our customer or even just sending a work order off to our contract manufacturer. So let's quickly do that now. And again, if you have any questions, just reach out and we can talk to you in person. So first I'll set where my ingredients are coming from. And in the destination warehouse, I'll actually set it to my contract manufacturer's warehouse because they'll be doing the actual cooking and bottling for me. And actually, a note here for our alcohol industry viewers, you can see that one of my warehouses is a bonded free PL. With Unleashed, I can easily send that product through to be stored there, which will save me buying, uh, paying those duties. And when I want to release that and sell my drinks uh, by having the tax office you know, saved as one of my suppliers, I can literally just add my duties as a payment as a cost, which then prompts my accounting software to make that payment right away. But we're making jam, not beer, and we need to tell Unleashed how much we need. I can see my can of symbol quantity here, which is based on my current stock on hand, minus anything I've already assigned to another assembly. But let's say I wanna make more of that. So I'll put in a thousand units. By the way, I'm making this assembly manually here, uh, but there's a lot of different ways you could begin this process. For example, if you're kind of a make to order operator, you could be in the sales section of the software and action an assembly directly from the sales order that's arrived. Maybe through one of your B2B e-commerce portals, which are built directly into Unleashed. But in this case, I'm gonna do a sort of made to stock over the workflow. And I decide I want a, a thousand units and I want them ready by this date here. So the first thing I see in these red sections, which I'll need to action before I can complete the assembly here. Now, this is telling me that my orange jam is already batch tracked, which is pretty natural being a food product. So I need to assign a batch number and expiry date to it here. And then once that's done over here, these alerts show me that these ingredients are also batch tracked and I need to decide which batches I'm gonna use inside of this product. Now with my fresh oranges, naturally, I'm keen to use my oldest batches first so that they're used up before they go off, which I do like this. And I'm gonna do the same with my sugar. Now, as a food business, this is a really great process for keeping on top of any expiry issues and, and ends up saving you a lot of money. You can have Unleashed prompt you ahead of time about expiring batches as well. And of course, because that end product is also batch tracked, if I had to run a product recall, that's also very easy to do. But for now, I just want to deal with these shortfalls in my ingredients. Now here, in the available stock line, I can see I need more lids, so I'll just start to order more here. So what I'm gonna do is go through and quickly order more lids for my supplier. Now, I could do everything on this bomb up here, but in this case, I only want the lids. So I'm actually gonna go into my product record and go and create a purchase and pop in my supplier here and place the order. Now, normally, of course, 
I would have to park that assembly until my lids arrived, but let's just jump forward in time and receive that delivery into my warehouse, which means I can now complete my jam assembly. And I've got this nice work order downloaded here, which I'm gonna then email off to my contract manufacturer. Now, speaking of documentation, I can also attach any costs associated with that production run here in this tab. Now, I mentioned alcohol duties, but I could also add my contract manufacturer's costs here as well, or even another supplier, perhaps my freight company. And that's gonna keep those individual costs aligned with my particular product, which then gives me a fantastic ability to you know, track the profitability of all my products no matter how they're made, where they're sold, or what parts or ingredients go into them. So, that's pretty much the core of how production works in Unleashed. There are just a few more features it's worth touching on. I'll quickly show you the custom statuses, which are useful because obviously we're running a sort of digital twin for our real world factories and warehouses, and things in the real world happen in lots of different ways. And to help manage that, I've set up different custom statuses here for my assemblies. And you can see that I have a testing status. So if I save this assembly under that category, myself or other staff members can filter to see all those assemblies that might be sitting in our QA department, for example. And those statuses are flexible as you need them to be. You might have a approval stage that has to go through or an entire purchasing department backing up your uh, production planning. Flexibility is the name of the game. Now here, you can see that I could also disassemble products, basically break down something into its component parts so I can use them elsewhere. <clears throat> and I can also very easily make an assembly without needing a bomb. That's a useful feature you know, for selling custom products. For example, racing bikes, um, where your buyers might choose you know, this frame with that seat, but those gears. By building the assembly without needing a bomb, you can quickly fulfill that order based on what you have in stock and cost out the end product on the spot. Finally, if you have a look over here at this list of bombs, you'll see that I have several that are kitted or, or bundled products. Here's my five pack of different jams and the tick on can auto assemble. Just means that I can sell those products without having to physically put them together until I need to. Unleash is nicely set up to help here, and, and that's one of the th ways you know, businesses work. And with that, I think I'll end the tour. I hope that was a useful run through all the different ways Unleash supports your manufacturing business. Remember, it's just a fraction of what Unleash can do. There's lots of other functionality here, so check out the other videos if you want to see more, or simply jump on the link here and start a free guided trial to see what the software can do for your business.